Hello. And good morning. What's poppin' gamers? Oh my gosh. What is happening? 10 minutes. All right. I have 10 minutes. I am not good at this interviewing thing. I'm not a host. I'm not an interviewer. So I'm definitely a little pep and milk down in my head. But I have some questions. I have some questions prepared for Mary. Did I watch the movie? Yes, I watched the movie. It was sick. I watched the movie two days ago. Of course I watched the movie. <laughs> the audacity. <laughs> the audacity of me to show up to an interview without watching the film. Oh my gosh. I not only watch the movie. I watch like... I watched like breakdowns of the plot and obviously I'm not going to spoil stuff, but I was just like, I wanted to really understand. I was a bit confused at times. Um, so I was like, wait, who said what and why? And so I watched like synopsis breakdowns. Um, and I, I have already briefly talked to Mary Elizabeth Winstead on a call. They introduced us very briefly. So that was cool of them. Um, Finja, thank you for the sub. Yeah, Kate was sick. It was... I had to, I'm not going to add to the for sure close my eyes for some of it. It was, it was, it was pretty gory. <laughs> but she's like slicing people through their faces. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, love eating dinner. <laughs> busy day today? Yeah, it's busy, guys. It's busy. This is going to be a pretty short stream. It's going to be just a Netflix interview and then, um, because I'm going to be, we are going to be doing Saikuno's first IRL stream today, um, later today on his channel. I think it's his first, or like his first on his own channel. And he, we're doing it from our place. So we need to get like, I, yeah, so. Yeah, I know. Saikuno's doing, he did talk about this, right? Jeez, please say he said something. Kind of, okay. I'm sure Ray's leaked it first, if anything, right? Oh, mercy. Yeah, Ramona Flowers. I know. Hello, can you guys see me? Um, are we good? I have a little rainbow sweater. My room is messy. I'm so sad I'm not making it to the IRL. It's okay. Um, you could watch it from the VOD, you know? You're welcome. I love your content so much. Thanks, Finja. That's so sweet. Omega, thank you for the two months. Merlo with the seven months. Trevor with the six months. Maville. Maville? Maville, thank you for the sub. And Kurt's Kate with the seven months. So, um, oh, with the five gifted subs. Rivers with the three. She. The sweater's great. Thanks. It's really comfy and it's rainbow. I love Mary Elizabeth Winstead. Yeah. We're going to be talking to her in eight minutes. So. Um, we're gonna get into it pretty quickly because I want to show you guys the trailer beforehand um, and like a clip beforehand and I'm gonna I I have her at 10 a.m. So that's in eight minutes. So within the next couple maybe in two minutes um, We'll probably watch the trailer and stuff um, Tyler, thank you for the nine months and color of my room. What is that? You responded with an emo emo purple No, that's too much. You know what? We'll just keep it We'll keep it Okay, and then I'm going to turn alerts off for the actual call. Um, at some point, we are going to throw up some chat questions. Oh, gosh, I forgot about this part. Featured.chat. Featured.chat. Um, I don't know if this even works anymore. I have... <laughs> I'm so janky. I don't have any interview, like, cool, like, podcast setup. I have a half split screen. This is going to be me and Mary. <laughs> So, Mary, <laughs> what's it like being a total badass? <laughs> She's so cool. I can't separate her from her character that I just watched because wait, she always plays such a like a, you know, she's she's pretty intimidating in all of her roles. I was watching Scott Pilgrim last night, actually, because, you know, thinking about it made me like, oh, I, I should watch Scott Pilgrim. She was pretty intimidating in that, too. I was like, oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, so I'm, I'm yeah. And, and, and as the Huntress. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay, so wondering if I could like put this on. I mean, honestly, oh, cool. So I can put on questions if, yeah. So I might end up putting it on here or I might, um, we might, um, end up just like reading off questions. We'll, we'll take a few chat questions for Mary if we have time. We have her from 10 to 10 20. It's not too much. I have 10 questions that I came up with, you know, 
I'm kind of an I'm kind of a interviewee interviewer frick. I'm definitely gonna stumble over my words. Oh gosh <coughs> It's fine <laughs> Yeah So we'll see yes, so um anyway Hello, everybody. Good morning. Thanks for tuning into my it's an early stream today, so I really appreciate it um, She's in a lot of movies. Yeah, you might she was in 10 Cloverfield Lane um, She was in birds of prey, which we just watched at some movie night She was in sky high one of my all-time 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 favorite movies ever like I love I love sky high I've seen that movie like an, an like a lot of times. <laughs> I love it <laughs> um She's royal pain in that if you guys didn't know she's she's like the love interest that was a baby and then grew up in the yearbook and then you know, shoots the laser everyone becomes babies sorry massive spoilers <laughs> great movie um <laughs> and then uh, Scott Pilgrim vs the World I'm sure you guys have seen it with Michael Sarah and stuff and then she's in a lot you will probably recognize her when you see her even if you don't know, recognize her name. Um, when I first got this opportunity, they were like, yeah, you're gonna be interviewing the main like the actress from it Mary Elizabeth Winsett. I was like, no <laughs> No way No way, right? <laughs> no, and then it's like yeah, and I was like, oh And then I was in a call like a tech call and then they were like, oh Mary's here and I was like, oh Hi, Mary <laughs> And she was very nice and so I was like, I love Sky High <laughs> So, um, we're talking to her in four minutes, but I guess leading up to that um, is my title set. Um, we're good to go. Um, so, we are here to talk about the her movie, Kate. Um, it's on Netflix. Um, I'm sure if you go to, like, Netflix, you can, like, see it. It's, like, yeah, right up there. Um, Kate is a visually stunning, gritty, revenge thr thriller. Sorry, I'm sleep deprived. <laughs> I'm sleep deprived and nervous, so together it's a great combination. Revenge thriller with intense action set in Tokyo. The film follows a highly skilled assassin, Kate, who sets out to exact revenge on her enemies after she's poisoned. Orphaned as a young girl and trained as a weapon, Kate develops into a powerful and ruthless assassin who will stop at nothing to annihilate her target. Kate's rampage to find those who targeted her takes an unexpected turn as she builds an unlikely alliance with Ani, the teenage daughter of one of her past victims. With the clock ticking, Kate finds herself trying to right a lifetime of wrongs as she thinks about her legacy and in her final act changes the course of the young girl's life. Oh, I love Ani, by the way. And I think the actress is Miku Mar Martineau. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I love her in their relationship. She's, she's also badass. Okay, so um, we're going to watch this clip, uh, the trailer from the movie. First, before we hop in the call, um, hopefully I can get this working. Yes, I can. Okay. So, in case you have no context, you can see at least 2 minutes and 46 seconds of the movie through this trailer. Okay. Um, um, okay, I'm done.
let's do it. Um, hold, 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 hold. I have a Zoom link here. We're using Zoom. Um, God, she's so hot. She's so hot and she's so cool. I should do it. Oh my God. Um, all right. I'm ready. I'm coming. I'm here almost. Launch meeting. Let's see. Um, join with video. Okay. Pardon me trying to set this up in like, yeah. Okay. So, yep. So I've got it. Um, I'm going to add like a scene. Okay. Why am I nervous? <laughs> Why am I nervous? <laughs> join with video. Join with video. <coughs> Hello, tester. <laughs> Hello. Can you hear me? Hello. Hello. Hi, Mary. Okay, one, give me one second while okay. I while I pop up your video, um, cool. so I can show it on stream. Um, okay. Um, I can see you. Everything's working. Great. Um, let me do window capture here. That's not working. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Okay. Um, I'm a total professional. I promise. <laughs> I trust you. <laughs> I got this. <laughs> Oh, it's working. I can see you. Half of your face is showing. Um, okay, let me put you here and then and then put you it hmm, now now it's not working. Okay, how do I do this? Bless one second. Uh display capture. Um to, oh, 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 oh. Okay, almost. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and okay. I have you. I am zooming in. Okay, this is okay. This is a bit janky. Oh, man, you look amazing, by the way. Oh, thank you. <laughs> wow. All right. Um. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm gonna fix it. This you're like at half my screen, and right about we are almost ready in four, three, two. I think we got it. All right. <laughs> Hi, Mary. <laughs> the, uh, first of all, congrats on the new film, Kate. And thank you so much for taking the time to get on this call with me. Um, of I, I know I talked to you off stream a little bit briefly about how big of a fan I am and how much I love Sky High. Uh, and, and I watched Scott Pilgrim last night just because I was oh, so nice. excited to talk to you. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. So um, thank you for getting on a call with me. And um, I know a ton of my viewers on Twitch are super excited to have you here as well. Um, and so I have a few questions to ask you if you're cool with that. I'm so cool. Let's do it. All right. Um, so, well, um, first of all, we're streaming on Twitch. I don't know. Are you familiar with Twitch at all? Like a little bit. Okay. I'm, I'm not super up to date on everything, but, but I'm a little familiar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you know, the new wave. There's like people who live stream on it and, um, we stream a lot of games here primarily. It's like, cool. well, just different shooter games and like just all kinds of games and I was wondering if you have played any games yourself I would be disingenuous to say that I'm much of a gamer I did recently play there's a there's a cake game that's coming out so oh. I got to kind of test that out that was that was really fun although I felt like I was like really showing my age and my <laughs> inexperience in <laughs> trying to play it no that's um, fine I didn't even know there was a cake game yeah, apparently. I, I don't know. I don't know to what extent it's going to be out there, but hopefully it's, it's pretty cool. That's awesome. Um, so um, you've been in tons of films. Um, we mentioned like Sky High, Scott Pilgrim, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Birds of Prey. Um, I was wondering how you got into acting in the first place. Well, I started pretty young. I really, um, I kind of always wanted to be like a performer, like a dancer, actor, singer, trifecta kind of thing from a really young age, like five years old. Um, so I kind of was always doing that it just in classes and in school. And my first like professional TV job was when I was 12. So oh. by that point, I was already like, I knew what I wanted to do. And I had an agent and I did, you know, I was, I was growing up in Salt Lake City. So it was local to Salt Lake City. Um, but I was just completely obsessed with, with acting and, and the idea of the possibility that that could be my career from, from that point on, that was all I wanted to do. Was it in like your family or did, did you watch something that triggered that? You know, I, I, I just remember from a pretty young age watching films that had kids in them and going, oh my God, like kids can do this. Like I, I felt like really like annoyed that nobody had told me that, you know, because yeah. <laughs> I just always wanted to yeah. to be a part of that world to be make, telling stories and making movies. And one day it just clicked yeah. that 
kids were allowed to do it too. And from that, once I realized that I was like, I was just constantly pushing my parents to let me do it, to let me get an agent. I think I knew a girl in school who had an agent and did commercials and stuff. And so I just was, I was pretty headstrong about it. I really, really wanted to do it. And so I I pushed my way in. (laughs) That's that's crazy. Cause when I think about like acting or getting in front of a camera, like that is such a scary idea. I mean, I know I'm in front of a camera right now, but it's, it's different when you're yeah in a different way, you know? So that's awesome. I just like, I don't know. I don't know why, I don't know what it was that, um, propelled me to do it so forcefully but I just I felt the need I guess <laughs> I'm glad it worked out for you um so we're here to talk about your new Netflix movie Kate um and so for those of um people who haven't seen it um how would you describe the movie uh I would say it is a action thriller about yeah. an assassin who's on a job in Tokyo and um it's supposed to be her last job before she retires uh, and she ends up being irreversibly poisoned. Yeah. Um, and so basically we follow what could be the last day of her life as she's trying to tra- track down the person who poisoned her before she dies. Yeah, it's I, I just watched it. I can't believe I'm talking to you right now. I'm like, uh, you're so cool in it. I'm just like, when you're like stabbing the like adrenaline to, into your leg and you're like limping around, you have like the <laughs> contact, the blood, everyone's just like, woo. <laughs> It was fun. It was a lot of fun to get to go that far in terms of the deterioration of her and to get to be kind of gross. Yeah. And, you know, really just raw and brutal. It was. It was oh, yeah. Cool. I can only imagine how cool you must have felt. And like the makeup probably just helps you get so into character. When you're doing for all of sure. It. Yeah. There were some days where I was in makeup for like two or three hours oh. a day just to get to that kind of final stage of when she's really dying. Um, and that was like that that I really carried with me I could really feel feel the weight of that yeah um what was the preparation and like I guess audition process all of it like for this movie I, that's a kind of a big question there's like a lot there but whatever you know however you best right think. yeah well I was filming Birds of Prey um yeah. with this producer Brian Unkless and he came up to me towards the end of that shoot and just said that he had the script called Kate and that they were looking to find a lead actress and that um, he and the director would like me to do it. And mm-hmm. um, so I, I read the script. I was a bit like, oh, more action. Like, oh my God, I've just been like in this action world for so long. And at that point I was like, do I want to take a break from it or lead into it? I don't know. But then I read the script and I just was like, I just felt like I had the itch to do more. Oh, and it was going to be with the same stunt team that I'd just been working with on Birds of Prey and the same stunt choreographer. And I had had such a blast working with those guys. And I just thought, mm, okay, yeah, no, I want to I keep doing this. And also the role was so badass that it was yeah. just impossible to pass up. Yeah. Speaking of like the stunt work, it was crazy intense. Like I just thought like there's so much to it. And I was wondering, I, I read that you did all your own stunts. I was wondering if you had any injuries from set or got any. And how is it different practicing the stunts versus like, you know, when they're like action and you're doing all of it? Well, I mean, luckily I, I didn't get majorly injured. I had a lot of, you know, small little bruises and cuts and scrapes yeah. and, and was quite sore pretty often. Um, but I, but I made it out. Okay. I had a really good group of people around me making sure everything was safe and yeah. making sure I was doing things that I could handle, but yeah, they really let me do everything. And I think it was helpful that I had worked with Jojo before the right. stunt choreographer because he was able to really choreograph it based around what I was capable of. So that allowed me to do a lot more, you know, than I otherwise would have been able to do. And it was so much fun. It was just the best. And I I think there's something about when they call action that just, just, it just pumps it up that extra little bit. Whereas in rehearsal, you're just kind of trying to get it right. You're trying to learn it and make sure everything is done correctly. But on set, when they call action, it's more like you're in character. So you're ready to just do whatever it takes to, to sort of bring that emotion um, to the screen. So it sort of, it becomes a bit more wild and messy, but it's, it's, it's very exciting. Yeah. Like I was watching and I feel like so much of it, you're, it's so intense. Like you're so emotionally charged, like so much rage. And I just, okay. From my perspective, I'm thinking like you're, 
you're like you have to channel all that and they're like cut and then do you just go to like laughing or you're just like okay like i i just can't imagine that because it's so intense pretty much (laughs) yeah usually every take it was like action just sort of go into this really really intense place screaming yeah you know i think they had to take out some of my screams because like sometimes it would just be like a little too much you know it's it's just like like, tone it down "Ah." mary tone it down (laughs) um and then as soon as they would say cut, it was always like, are you okay? Are you okay? I'm sorry. Because, you know, I was always like accidentally elbowing somebody or scratching. So, so it was a lot of just like making sure everybody is physically okay. Um, <laughs> was usually as soon as, as soon as they called cut, that's what would be happening. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I like, I always imagine I'm like, how are like, cause like it, you get so immersed in the movie when you're watching it. And I'm just like, they're filming like they're so intense like yelling and like ah! like <laughs> stabbing each other i'm like they're like cut and everyone's like you good <laughs> just, I, I remember just, too just like laugh after the black lizard fight which is the one in the restaurant oh, where yeah. it's like going room to room to room that one's crazy just, like laughing after every take because it was so intense and we were all screaming at each other so much that i just couldn't help but just be like i would just start giggling because it was just like there was something so fun and intense but also kind of absurd about it it was brilliant oh yeah that scene was wild that one was like going crazy oh that was so sick um i also your chemistry relationship with ani throughout the movie i loved it so good um how is working with miku martino off camera and how did you build that relationship so great she's such an incredible discovery because she's so talented and she's also just like so great to be around um, you know, she was so young. She was only 15 when we shot the film. Oh. And I think she just turned 15. She had her 15th birthday on set. And um, she just was like so smart and so dedicated to just doing a great job and becoming the character. And and she had such a good head on her shoulders that I'm, I'm so excited to see what else she does and where she goes from here because I think she's like like a really rare person in this industry and I and I think she's just fantastic I loved it the second you guys like met had that I don't know it, I just loved watching it develop at first I thought she was just gonna be kind of like a side character and then I was like oh she's gonna be a big part of this yeah. and I just yeah that was so cute she's so good in the film she's she just nails it yeah um what was your favorite part about filming this movie um and, and like anything particular scenes memories being in gosh. Japan just like anything oh, gosh I, I'd say it's a toss up between, you know, it, the action, which was just, it was just such a kind of like adrenaline fueled experience for me getting to do so much of that. Yeah. Because I've, done it, I've done it here and there and a lot of films where I'd be like, okay, this week is my action heavy week, but this is the first time I had, you know, two, three months of filming a movie where every day I was you know, physically giving it my all yeah. and, like, and exhausting myself in a way that was just, I don't know, it was really invigorating and exciting. And, and I, I loved being able to do that. And I loved just the, the people I got to work with, Miku, and Woody, Cedric, Brian, like it was such an incredible team, Jojo and the whole stunt team. It was like just such a great group to be a part of. And, and I felt like we were all really kind of in the trenches together and really collaborating in a way that was so exciting and inspiring and, and, and the way that I really love to work. Wow. Yeah, no, I, I can't imagine like all of the work that goes into it and like this everything about this it was beautifully shot too and like the scenes were so cool, like the car, the like yeah. was, oh my, that scene was crazy. It's like the top down boom, boom, the gear shifts. I, yeah. I was like, What is happening? I got to learn how to drive a stick shift for that scene. So oh, that, was, really? that was fun. I never knew how to do that before and I'd always felt like that's something I should really learn so it was great it was a great opportunity to do that that's awesome i can't imagine just like the little tricks you pick up from every hopping from movie right. to movie to movie like you need to learn this you need to learn that and you're just like oh, all of a sudden i can do all these things it's a great perk of the job for sure um and in the movie you s- were speaking japanese did do, do you speak japanese or does, did you learn that for the movie i learned it for the movie and i think you know, I, I, by the skin of my teeth, I was able to learn, you know, as, as much as I needed to know for the movie, but I certainly would never say that I, I speak Japanese or that I'm even come anywhere near being able to do it. It was, it sounded really good at it. I, 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 I don't speak Japanese, but you know, I, well, you know, I well, can good. at least, at least it sounded okay to yeah. you. To someone who speaks zero Japanese, it sounded yeah. perfect Thank to me, you. <laughs> <laughs> but I was like, it, you know, some days you can tell. And uh, yeah, I watch a lot of anime they, that's Japanese. So, you know, it sort yeah, of sounded. You got some sort of a trained ear, you know, <laughs> somewhat. So that's good. Exactly. Um, and I think 
I, I think those are all my questions, except, oh, um, so you you probably get asked a lot of the questions I'm asking in general, maybe. Um, so I was wanting to know if there is a particular question that you wished that people asked you. And it's okay if there's not. Gosh. Um, you know, I... I um i don't know i i love i love to know what people are interested in you know um so i guess if there's anything that any questions that people might have that are outside the norm that's something that's just like you've just always wondered about acting or about the industry or about like anything that's sort of that you feel like if you haven't heard answered by other people i would love to know what those questions are you know all right i'm taking some questions from chat um, my, my chat saying Leslie didn't do her homework. So she's asking the teacher to do it instead. Okay. <laughs> no, I did my homework. Okay. I watched the movie. I came up with questions. Okay. I'm just getting, I'm just, you know, in case there was something that Mary wanted to share. Okay. Um, who would be your dream collab or actor, actress, anything? Um, you know, I would love to work with um Sigourney Weaver I think that that would be really cool to just you know to have because I've just been getting so much more into action films and that kind of work and I think the kind of work that she's done in that realm is something I really aspire to um so I think that would be a fun thing to get to to get to do and, and just exciting to get to see how you know what she brings to the table in person would be amazing that's do you, do you ever like work with someone that you're a fan of or you've seen a lot of their work and then you're do you ever get nervous or is it like you just have no it feels like you have no fear if I'm I like the way I look at my ears you seem uh. like just how is it possible <laughs> yeah I for sure for sure I get I get nervous I mean I'm I'm always a little bit nervous starting out on any project in the beginning when you're just meeting everybody and just figuring it out but I think I'm probably more nervous off screen um, or oh. offset than I am on set in character. So the, the thing that's more nerve wracking to me is when I'm having to speak to people oh. just as myself. <laughs> but when you're in character, it's like- In character, it all kind of goes away, yeah. Is there like a, sorry, I'm totally just asking my own questions. Sorry, Chai, okay, all these questions come to mind. <laughs> Are there like, do you have to like take a moment to like mentally put yourself in the mindset of the your character that you're playing before you are are you able to just like kind of that you hear action and you just like snap into it um i it's it's a little bit of both i i try to like hold on to the character a little bit even when even in the in-between moments so that i'm not too far outside like if i get too relaxed and go too into myself then then i can be a little bit like when they say action and i can go oh no where am i yeah. who am i what, what are we doing <laughs> So I try to like hold on to it a little bit um, so that I can really quickly go in and out of it. Um, Got it. Yeah. Without having to spend too much time sort of preparing. Yeah. I hear like method acting. Some people like, you know, if they, if they're them, them and their co-stars are like, you know, enemies or whatever, they won't like actually interact off yeah, camera yeah. and stuff. And I'm like, is that, that, that's so that's crazy. I mean, I don't know. I, mean, I know there's people who, you know, who take it that far. I don't, I don't ever feel the need to, to quite go. Like I'm a little bit like it is pretend, you know, I, I love my job, but it is pretend. Um, so it's I don't, pretend? I don't quite, it's not <laughs> real. I don't take it quite that far, but at the same time, I want to do it justice and do a really good job. So I find, I find something in between, in between that. I think. Got it. Um, and I guess we have time for one more question. Um, Let's see. Oh, gosh. Okay. So we have, how do you like to decompress after a long day of filming? Or would you ever direct or produce something? Or would you ever do like voice acting? You can pick from those three. Um, oh, I just pick one? Or, yeah, I mean, you can answer all three. Oh, yes. Okay. Because, yeah. Um, well, I'll see. So the first one, one of the things that often they do at the end of the day on sets in the hair and makeup trailer, um, the makeup artist will give you a hot towel, a hot, wet towel to like wipe your mm. face down with, which mm. is just something simple but it's like the best thing in the world after like a long day of like action scenes and being covered in blood is just this like piping hot towel on your face just laying there and sometimes they put like essential oils on it and stuff too so you feel like you just entered the spa at the end of the day so I love that and I always look forward to that moment (laughs) all day long and um I already forgot what the other questions um uh, would you voice act or have Um, I would love to I you know it's just not something I've done much of or that I felt like I really wanted 
seek out. Um, but if somebody wants to call me up and ask me to voice something, I'm, I'm around. Oh. Um, and then there was one other question. Uh, would you ever direct or produce? Oh, yeah. Um, I have produced a little bit and I love producing and I, I would like to do more of that for sure. And directing, I've thought about it. I don't know. I, I think, um, I think one day it'll probably happen, I feel like, but, um, but I still don't feel like I'm close enough to the confidence level, um, to be able to tackle it just yet. But I, I think one day. Well, Mary, I, congratulations on everything again I am such a fangirl I'm still like staring at like royal pain in my eyes like I I can't unsee and then like your Ramona Fla you know so I'm just out here like having an outer body experience like I'm really out here talking to Mary Elizabeth Winstead trying to keep it cool and professional but it's very hard so thank you for being wonderful thank you for coming on my stream um congrats again on all the success and you're yeah just being amazing and talented <laughs> thank, well, thank you for having me and thank you to everybody who's watching listening all that stuff thank you mary <laughs> thanks guys all right bye, bye. Ah! 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 oh i love her she's so wonderful oh my gosh she made me feel so at ease i was like scared and then the second i saw her smile Gosh, she's such a nice smile and her glowing face. I was like, oh, I don't feel nervous. Well, I felt a little nervous, but like for the most part, I was like, wait, screw my questions. I'm going to ask other, like I ditched like some of my questions and just like started asking my own in the middle because I was like, wait, she's so cool. Oh my God. Now, I mean, yeah, I was definitely nervous for sure, but wow, what a goddess, what a goddess. Thanks, chat. I did my best. I was I'm sleep deprived and I'm and I was nervous and I was definitely like jittery during that. But yeah, and I could see you guys being so like cute during it, wholesome and that was so cool. Ah! Oh, sorry, play it cool. Oh, sorry. So today's stream is sponsored by Netflix. Oh, we. Oh, I forgot. I have to ask. Is it one more clip? Sorry, Netflix is probably still watching. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I <laughs> uh, did not just call Netflix my mom. Okay, um, one second. Uh, watching one more clip from the boom film. <laughs> Hold on. Okay. Okay. This is a scene. This is a kitchen scene. There's a lot of cool scenes. This is one of the cool scenes. Um, okay, and action. queen as you guys have probably seen in other things but ah! <sighs> I still remember the scene in Sky High well so many scenes in Sky High when like she's first meeting it's Will right his name's Will 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 Armstrong Will Stronghold sorry there we go <laughs> Will Stronghold so then she's like putting her hand over the all of the metal the broken metal machine whatever and then it all like comes together she's a i forgot what they call it her power she like controls technology she's super op oh my god ah i forgot to take off my pencil sticker <laughs> yeah it's too late it is so far it is so too late well, that's what that is. I was wearing it yesterday and then I put a new one on. I forgot to take it. Well, you know, it is what it is. No one saw nothing. Hmm. 
Oh, yeah. Daddy's little girl. I told you not to call me that! Sorry, it's a reference from Sky High. I hope you that. <laughs> Anyways. Imagine watching Birds of Prey for movie night, then interviewing one of the stars. I know! I know! I was literally, we were watching Birds of Prey like three weeks ago. And then... I, was, I saw her and I was like, she's in this too. Because by then I was already like, I already knew I was doing this interview. I was like, what? She's still, she's it's crazy. You know? Oh, sorry. She's like, she's popping off, you know? So are you going to keep streaming or coming back later? I'm, I know this is going to be, this is a super short one. I'm going to end here. And then, um, cause we're going to be streaming in a bit. I think, um, well, not maybe we're going to run late. I'm going to say it's going to be more of a dinner time thing. I was going to stream a little longer, but. I think I need to not. Yeah, I think I'm just going to chill for a little bit. Um, but I'll be back um, tomorrow. Oh, I hope everyone saw the announcement stream yesterday on Tina's channel. 100 Thieves Tina. Sorry. I'm like back to back to back to back. Um, super cool. Tina's joined. No one saw that one coming. Um, I was ignoring all of you guys talking in chat the other day. Everyone's like, 100 Thieves Tina? 100 Thieves Tina? And I was like, oh my god, is it weirder if I ignore it or weirder if I say it? Because if I say it, they might pick up from my tone that I'm like, 100 Thieves Tina? Obviously not. And they're like, oh my god, like from that, I'm going to leak it. So what if I ignore it? But then if I ignore it, then it looks like it's happening. Oh gosh. Pretend to be distracted. Thanks for the five gifted! <laughs> So that's how I was like, I was acting really dodgy. I was like, uh, look at everything except the chat. <laughs> Cause everyone was spamming it. And I was like, oh no, I wasn't mentally prepared. And then that day we were on the call as me, Ray and Saikuno and I forgot who else. And Saikuno was like totally leaking it. Ray's like, check your DM Saikuno. It's about something else. <laughs> and then she's like, shut up. <laughs> I mean, the compound, I mean, everything was obvious, but I was like, you know what? We can pretend. No one really knows. What if that was all an elaborate plan and then she announced to a different org? Wouldn't that have been crazy? People's minds would have been blown. I was thinking that. I'm like, wow, this would, like, a whole fake leak for something else would be pretty funny, but, you know, she's ours. <laughs> um, uh, Powerpuff Hero, they have five months. Incapable with the one year. Lloyd on Twitch with the sub. Artemis, thank you for the sub. Denzel with the two months. Nutella, thank you for the 30 months. I didn't, I didn't come off too nervous, did I? I was, I was nervous, but like, yeah, I gotta give it, Mary, Mary's like, she makes you feel comfortable. she got this, her smile, something about her, she's so pretty. I was like, wow, what a queen. Okay. The part I was freaking out about was when I was trying to get her on the screen. I was like, choking, like display capture. What is that? Is it window capture? Oh God, Mary's waiting. She's just like, <laughs> how unprofessional <laughs> can this girl be? <laughs> <laughs> <And> only... <laughs> okay. Sophia, thank you for the sub. Be here now with the 14 months. Klaus with the one year. Dusty, and then I had the alerts. I forgot to hide them. So they're like popping up in the middle, covering my face. I was like, at least they're not covering Mary's face. <laughs> and at least they're not going off. Wee woo, wee woo, oil alert, oil alert. And she's like, hmm. <laughs> I was just thankful for that. <laughs> and it's not mustard. <laughs> Would you ever do an eyeliner tutorial? I have similar shaped eyes. It's hard to deal with. Yeah. I mean, honestly, the only tutorial, I'll just tell you. You just take a line from your end of your eye to like a little bit out and you use Kat Von D's tattoo eyeliner sometimes works. Ta any kind of liquid liner works well um, if you want for that. And then I fill in with like normal eyeliner. So whatever. Urban Decay. Um, any kind of eyeliner. Right there. And then that's it. Bing, bang. Um, and then, yeah, so anyways, we can finally talk about it. I mean, like we, we, we get to 100 Thieves creator camp and they're nice wig and Tina are both on the trip and they're like, so you guys are both getting announced this week, but like, it's even weirder if we try to hide that you guys aren't here. Cause then they're like, is that nice wig? Is that Tina? And they're both like, oh, um, I'm, I'm, you know, they're going to find out. So we're like, we just have to say that you guys are on the trip as friends. And, but when your announcements are this week and I was like, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, this is my first time watching your stream. Hey, NYL Angel. I didn't even catch on. Okay. Well, I mean, it is true that at the end of the day, if you try to hide it, it's going to be more obvious than not. So like that was definitely not, not the plan. So when they were like, yeah, we're just going to say it. I was like, yeah, yeah. People that honestly probably wouldn't even give away that much because you know, like Brooke and Tina and, and you know, you never know. Yeah. So 
exactly so makes sense but will neff couldn't join and confirm will neff was there as a host okay <laughs> he hit him and sydney goodman were hosts <laughs> i'm not saying anything okay he might be and he might not be i'm leaving I don't know. I don't know who's joining. Ever. I don't know things. Gosh. Everyone's trying to make me leak things. And I'm not leaking anything. Goodbye. And good day. I'm leaving. Hope you're happy. <laughs> um. Anyways. <laughs> good stream. The audacity. <laughs> so that was short. Um. I'll be back later it's gonna be on Saikuno's channel um he wants to cook steak uh he's got some crazy ideas so we're gonna try and make that happen um but sorry for the super short short stream oh do you guys remember this because it's my super okay because it's my super short show <laughs> from disney channel it was like um mike and you know and What's her name? The dancing girl. Really cute. Pigtails. Allison Stoner. And then they would have a super short show. And it was like a couple seconds. Man, is that Boomer? Is that Boomer? Or is that... Am I cultured? Right? I'm, I'm kind of cultured. Um, Flocks of Thing in the Nine Months. Yeah. And you're watching Disney Channel. Dun, 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 dun. All I can see is Yvonne doing the cursed Disney Channel. <laughs> Millennials rise up. That unlocks some memories. Yeah, I know. It's crazy. Anyways, I have... I don't know. Oh, man. Yesterday. Yesterday. We, we went up to the, into the into cabin in the woods. Okay, I was in the woods with... with Because Se, Sekuno was doing Ray's merch shoot. Man, it is kind of hard sometimes talking because I don't know what I can say. <laughs> but everything I, I'm saying, I'm filtering. Has this been said? Has this been said? <laughs> so, so I went to the merch shoot... But I wasn't in the merch shoot. I was just there to keep company. But, so I was like, I'm not going to go. You know, it's too far. And they're like, please come. And Saikuno was like, come on, come to the merch shoot. I was like, oh, I'll come to the merch shoot. It's all the way up in the woods. It's like an hour away. We <laughs> raised, like, driving. You know, the roads are so bumpy that, like, we're talking. And we're like, <laughs> she's like, sorry, sorry, the roads. And then she's like, oh, no, I turned left. I shouldn't have turned left. And I was like, huh? So Ray <laughs> kept missing turns. And then, so then she goes into this person's driveway. Like, it's like one of these houses on the hills. There's like trees everywhere. We drive into their driveway just to like back out so we can go back out, you know? So it's like, we make this wrong turn and then there's a driveway here. So we go down here and then we go like this and then we come back out this way. And as she's going out this way, back down the bumpy rope, there's this old lady on a golf cart. And she's like we're just head to head and we're like <laughs> and the old lady is like and Saikun was like and she doesn't wave back and I was like oh no and then Ray's like and there's enough room and it's so much easier for the golf cart for her to move her her thing like she's barely down the road we're all the way like down this driveway and up so much more of a and the lady's like <laughs> and Ray is like so she's reversing and we are in the most awkward like we're backing up she's driving forward just like this and Ray's like I am so mad right now and I was like keep it cool keep it cool we're fine we're fine and like there's a giant rock wall behind us on one side bunch of trees on the other and Ray's like trying to navigate and finally like there's enough room for the lady to pass and she looks at us and goes are you lost <laughs> Ray's like no, we're just trying. We, we took a wrong turn and we're trying to get out. <laughs> no, this is not Ray's old lady story. Ray has a second old lady story that I don't even know about. That apparently has, has like canceled second part of her shoot. She tweeted about how like sec part of her shoot was canceled because of an old lady. This is a different old lady. This I was like, what? You ran into another old lady? Because this old lady was like, yeah, this was before the first part of the shoot. I only like... <laughs> So you have to hear her perspective. She was mad. <laughs> and Sakuna went. <clears throat> <laughs> We're like. Ah! <laughs> it's 
so anyway that was it was stressful getting to the actual up in the woods and then I get to the shoot and they're like hey you need to take a rapid COVID test I'm like yeah that's fine and they ran out of COVID tests so um you know I wasn't there for the shoot so they prioritized talent so they're like all right you know so I couldn't everyone get your get your test and you go and then you guys well you need to go over there and I was like okay and they're like yeah actually can you follow us you can't even be here you're gonna you're gonna go to the isolation van and I was like isolation van and they're like yeah down the hill across the street don't worry the, the van has air conditioning and so they opened this white van I was like this is where we die <laughs> and then me and um Tina and uh Gabe and Mauricio were isolated to the van <laughs> they don't have tests they're like <laughs> Like, would you like a chicken sandwich? I was like, I think a chicken sandwich, yeah. Actually, pretty good chicken sandwiches. <laughs> Those were good. Um, gave us waters and stuff. It was nice. It was. It was. It was. It was actually a very comfortable van. <laughs> it was just funny. And then they're like, "All right, well, um, someone's going down. We're getting rapid COVID tests, so it's going to be in about thirty minutes." And I was like, "But I gotta leave in thirty minutes." And they're like, "Well, you could stay, you know, and then get COVID tested, and then you can leave." I'm like, "You're telling me." Uh, I'm just going to stay here to get a COVID test and then leave immediately. I'm, like, mm, I'm out. So I try to leave. I call an Uber. No service. No cars. Calling, 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 calling. Nothing. And then finally, one of the guys who works there, he's like, how about try my phone? And I was like, why would that make any sense? But it worked. So we got a car that was coming in 10 minutes. And then this guy came and picked us and picked me up. I was like, wee, goodbye. And then we drove down the hill. All, and he's like, what's the pin? And I was like, pin? He's like, yeah, you need a pin to make sure you know it's this, the same ride. And I was like, I don't have a pin. <laughs> Back it up, up the hill. <laughs> Hello, I need the pin. And I was like, what's a pin? He's like, it's on the Uber app. <laughs> So then we type the pin in and then back down the hill. And then as we're going down the hill, we have another face off because this is one of those mountainous roads that has only one lane for the whole thing. So then, boop, we're on another face off. And then opposite problem, my Uber driver is beyond nice. And then the other car is super nice. So they both start backing up. And I'm like, one of you, just one. <laughs> this is not an old lady. This is just like a guy. They're both <laughs> going backwards. And like my, my Uber driver out nice to the other Uber driver. So that he's like, keeps going, keeps going. And then finally the other guy passes. And then they're like, you're good. And I'm like, gosh, <laughs> this is not what happened with Ray and the old lady. <laughs> they were on a standoff. <laughs> okay anyways down the road down the road and then from there it was fine we just got stuck in the worst traffic just the worst it was like peak la five o'clock i took a nap fell asleep in the car woke up fell asleep woke up at one point they were playing that song um that song sugar we're going down swinging and then i was like in my head is this fallout boy or panic at the disco Fall Boy or Panic at the Disco? Oh my god, I think it's Panic at the Disco. If I had to bet $10,000 if this is Fall Out Boy or Panic at the Disco, I'd say Panic at the Disco. So then I Google it. It was Fall Out Boy. This is all in my head and just when I'm half asleep, my conversation's in my brain. <laughs> it's Fall Out Boy. But I could really convince myself that Patrick Stump sounds like Brendan Urie. I was like, this is Brendan Urie singing. He, they sound the same, but they really don't blasphemy i know my brain was doing weird things anyway so i kept falling asleep felt like a three-hour drive yeah so that was my day it was rough <laughs> but you know that's just because of the woods and the cars and the traffic but everything else was fine <laughs> so um i i i'm excited to hear ray's perspective of the of the lady the both ladies because this she tweeted about a different lady which is why her half of her shoot was canceled this is lady number one so i want her perspective on that and then the lady number two we'll have similar perspectives because i was sitting right behind her she was mad i was scared i was like oh, God. oh wait ray's about to go off um and then i got a really good chicken sandwich um so that was good they were actually really good like they it was like a real piece of chicken i thought it was going to be actually when they first asked if we wanted chicken sandwiches i said no because i thought it was gonna be one of those triangle grocery store chicken sandwiches but then when i saw everyone's chicken sandwich i was like can you chicken sandwich <laughs> come chicken sandwich please <laughs> just single chicken sandwich <laughs> so um yeah <laughs> <clears throat> 
yeah, so I was just there to spectate. But it was a early, early day for me. Okay, I'm going to go now. You know, I've been stalling. There's nothing to stall, you know? I'm just stalling to stall. Goodbye. Goodbye. Short stream. Huge shout out to my, okay, Elizabeth, Mary Elizabeth Winstead. I didn't forget anything, right? Trailer. You know, we did the call. Go see Kate, guys. <laughs> if, if I never said that, please go see Kate. <laughs> Sponsored today. Kate's great. Mary's great. She's awesome. And uh, thanks, Netflix. You're the best. That was such a cool opportunity. I just really want to say, sometimes I'm like, I get some cool opportunities. I love when Netflix comes to me and they're like, hey, you want to watch this movie slash show and then interview this star? And I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Even though it terrifies me, yeah. You know, it's scary, but yeah. Okay, so Wendy's been streaming for a day and 14 hours. So why don't we go, you know, you don't need to make her stream longer, but just show her some love because she's wild and she is wild and out there. I see everyone in their moms doing subathons and stuff this month and perhaps September, you know, but I was just talking to Tony yesterday and I'm like, hell no. <laughs> I like my sleep. Thank you very much. <laughs> no subathon here. Nope. Nada. That's fine. I'll pass. I like sleep. Goodbye. <laughs> okay um i'm running my last set of ads go say hi to wendy for me say hi to wendy um fun little stream see you guys on saikuno stream later today probably gonna be scuffed it's gonna be it's gonna be scuffed i should charge the phone that we're gonna use yeah we're gonna charge that phone it's gonna be scuffed but you know what let's make those sticks we don't even know what we're making i don't know i think it's gonna be later in the day probably around 5 p.m is my guess 4 p.m but people, 5 p.m. I said, yeah. So I'll try and we'll be as on time as possible. So around then we'll be live and we'll have a fun little dinner cooking stream. And I'll see you guys for that. Thanks, chat. Thank you. Sorry, I'm hyper right now. I think it's, yeah. You know what? I'm going to bed. How's Wendy? The interview will be up on my second channel. I mean, sorry, my YouTube shorts. Not my shorts. My YouTube channel, the VODs channel, and then also VODs. Oh, she's sleeping. Oh, she's AFK. Oh, Wendy is napping. Oh, she's going like Ludwig subathon on this. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. She's like sleeping during it. Oh, that's why. Oh, oh, Wandy is Wandy is asleep. Is she under that blanket or not? Is there's like a bump under that blanket? Is that her? Oh my gosh. Man, Wendy, I know you can't hear me, but that is a risky thing. You could snore, okay? And and you could get exposed for snoring. And that is that's a definite thing that could happen, not that it has happened to me. But it could happen. It's a very real possibility that could cause you future embarrassment. All right? Whenever the new Pokémon game comes out, Oh, I for sure really want to do a 48 hour. So, you know, maybe we run it back. No guarantees, but that's the plan for now. That that was fun. But not not the new one, the one that's the R RCS one. The what what was it called? What is it called? The one next year. The one that I the second trailer I watch. Do you remember? I'll for the for this one, I'll just play. The the other one will be yeah, I want to I want to watch that one. Yeah. Also, I hope everyone here has seen Shang-Chi by now. Please. Please go see it. My, like, I I've been dying to watch it again. I'm like, wow, what a great movie that was. Please go watch. Not to flex, you know. You know, not to flex, but flex a little. So good. So No spoilers, just so good. Only spoiler, not a spoiler. Morris. Oh, Morris. I love you. Okay, goodbye. See you later. Goodbye.